All right, this next pro tip is a fun one. We're gonna talk about how to solve for individual outputs or simple optimization models using Excel's Goal Seek tool. Now, Goal Seek, which you'll find in your data tab under the what if analysis options, basically allows you to find the result that you want by allowing Excel to automatically change the value of a single given input cell. Goal Seek requires very simple inputs and outputs. You need to determine a single hard-coded input cell and a single formula-based output cell. We can't add other conditions here. We can't test combinations of multiple inputs. For those more complex optimization problems, we'll be using Excel's solver tool in a more advanced demo in the course. So consider a case like this. We have a value-based input, which is the quantity of units sold right there in cell C2. We have a set of calculation factors like the unit price or retail price, the cost to produce each unit, and a certain flat fixed cost. And with those factors, along with the quantity value, we can determine the profit, which is our formula-based output. In this case, our profit will equal the quantity times the difference between the price and unit cost minus the flat fixed cost. So this particular scenario, this simple model, checks all the boxes for the Goal Seek tool. We've got a single hard-coded input quantity and a single formula-based output, the profit. So let's see what this actually looks like. When we drill into that Goal Seek tool, you'll see a dialog box that looks like this. And what we're doing here is we're setting our output cell, C8, which is our profit, to a specific goal or target value, in this case, $1,000, by changing that value-based input. C2, quantity. So in plain English, we're telling Excel, I want you to change cell C2 however you need to in order to land at $1,000 of profit. How much quantity or how many units do I need to sell to make 1000 bucks? And when you configure Goal Seek this way and press OK, it automatically produces these values. You've fixed your profit to $1,000, and kind of working backwards to the quantity, that equates to 833 units sold. Now, common use cases here, just like we're showing here, determining the ideal input required to produce a specific goal or target outcome. You know, for instance, we could do a profit of $1,000 here. We could do a profit of zero in order to figure out how much quantity we need to sell to break even, you know, any combination like that or really just solving any simple optimization problems that are based on a single input variable. So let's bring this example into Excel and practice configuring the Goal Seek tool ourselves. All right, so if you'd like to follow along with me, open up your Pro Tip workbook and from our table of contents, we're gonna drill into our Goal Seek demo in our analytics tips section. We'll go ahead and link out. And here you'll see our familiar, very simple model based on this one input quantity and this one output, the profit. And as you can see, if I select cell C2, this is simply a hard-coded value. We've got some predefined calculation factors here for the unit price, the unit cost, and the fixed cost. In our profit cell, C8, this is our formula-driven output, which takes the quantity, multiplies it by the unit price minus the unit cost, and then subtracts out the fixed cost at the end to determine the actual profit. So as you can see, you can adjust different values here. Say, okay, if I sold 325 units, my profit would be 238. If I sold 23,000 units, my profit would be 34,250, and so on and so forth. So the way a lot of users who aren't familiar with Goal Seek will use Excel and specifically use a model like this is, you know, let's say we want $10,000 of profit. You know, you might say, okay, let's try selling 8,000. Well, that's too many. Let's try 7,500. Oh, we're still too high. Maybe 6,000, too low, 65. And you're kind of trying to narrow in on that number using the guess and check approach. And this is exactly what Goal Seek is designed to automate for you. And while you also can kind of back into the formula to create that optimal quantity value by presetting your profit, Goal Seek is designed to do that for you, go through that process and not make you kind of reverse the calculations 
to figure out that number in C2. So let's jump into our data tab. We're going to look at our what if analysis tools and click on goal seek, our second option here. And all we have are three conditions here. We're going to set a specific cell, which is our profit. We're going to set that profit to a specific value. And this could be anything. Let's actually start with uh, zero dollars. I want to find the break even point. And we want to do that by changing a given cell, which is the quantity here in C2. And all we need to do is press OK. And check it out. It just automated the process of solving this for us. So target value is zero. It optimized it found current value of zero. Press OK. And this tells us that, OK, we need to sell 167 units before we break a profit. And to kind of confirm this, if we choose 166, well, we lost a dollar. We choose 168, we made two dollars. And you can very quickly test different scenarios here. Like in this case, we want to set the profit to 100,000, for instance. Same exact process, same exact inputs. Press OK. And there you go. Found a solution and told us that, okay, for a $100,000 profit, you've got to sell 66,833 units. So there's your crash course in Goal Seek. It's a pretty amazing tool when you need to optimize simple single input and single output models in Excel.